Um, my name is Mia. I'm in 12th grade, and I go to Thomas Jefferson High School. Whoa! And this is my poem. It's called Two Skeletons. Under this tree, under the ancient light of the stars, it's hard not to feel so temporary in this body. Our bodies are so close, I can hear the creak of your bones. I can feel your voice echoing in the cavern of your lungs. And I can't help but picture us, two skeletons intertwined. And if the world ended right now, if an asteroid came hurtling towards us right now, our two skeletons would be frozen just like this, intertwined. In 66 million years, maybe some sentient beings would excavate us. They dig through the layers of ice and ash and find us still together. They wouldn't know us. They'd call us by our scientific names, but I think they'd understand. They'd stick us in a museum in a glass box with a plaque that said, two homo sapiens fossilize. <laughs> a paleontologist would point to the glass of our case, say, observe the femurs crossed over one another, the cranium abutting the clavicle, notice the phalanges interlocking. <laughs> and two visitors, two companions would reach for each other's hands, look through the glass of our case and see themselves. Two skeletons, phalanges interlocking, two skeletons intertwined. And maybe they'd feel so temporary in their bodies. Maybe they'd remember they don't have forever together, but maybe they'd realize that this feeling is older than them. It's older than ice and ash, older than asteroids and extinctions, older than planets and stars, this gravity, this closeness. It was here long before we came along, and long after we're gone, it will keep going. But for now, it keeps our two skeletons intertwined. <laughs>